Hey everybody, Bradley Svanion here with a new game called Scaper. They got added to Game Pass the first day it came out. So I'm going to show you here all the collectibles in this game. There are five missions. They each got tapes, clothing, a deck, and some wheels to unlock. So I'll show you here in the settings. You feel free to change whatever you want. I turn off the balancing, turn down the bail difficulty, add field of view, uh, put up the mid push boost to move around faster. I'm not too sure if the other ones will help or not and what changing them would do so feel free to throw it in the comments if you find them more useful if you change the dead zones and know what that actually does. And then if you press as you see on the screen there both bumpers both triggers at the same time you'll bring up the cheat menu. There's three cheats that they show you in the credits. The codes for them which are these three cheats here one will make you get pushed a lot faster you move around better. The other one, wall stick, lets you ride on the walls. And the third one is the most useful in my opinion, the reset teleport. It lets you press up on the D-pad to go to all different sections of each map to move around a lot easier than having to actually skate there every time. So we're gonna start off with the tapes in each level and then I'll show the other ones after that because the tapes are usually the hardest ones to find. So we'll start off on level one, humble bed gettings. And let's get started. I do have a video as well for all the missions if you get stuck on any missions i don't believe many people will need it but if you want to watch it or if you do get stuck and need it i have a video for that as well so feel free to go and watch that one if you get stuck so let's go i'll tell you at first the basic controls here a to ollie x is for flip tricks b is for grab tricks y is to grind and stall if you go right out of lip you'll stall if you hit it from a side you'll grind instead and then the most important one probably is the transfer button, RB. So when you're up on a lip, instead of coming back down, you hit RB twice and you actually go over it. Helps you get up on locations and things. So this first tape, I'd like to get from the bed here. There's a few ways you could try and get to this one, but this is the best way I found. Come at it from an angle here and jump onto the laundry basket to grab the first tape. Next we're going to go on top of the microwave, so I'm going to take the route from the bed here, go up the pizza boxes, and then on the edge of the counter on some of the garbage is the tape. So I kind of fall off my board here and just kind of roll onto the edge because it's, it's easy to fall to the ground and miss the tape. So as you see, got it right there on top of the can or whatever. There is that string up there you could try and grind from the other side of the room and try and jump from that too if you want to try and get it that way. So now we'll grab the clothing, the deck, and the wheels. So the first clothing is going to be underneath the ping pong table over here on this square ramp table looking thing with cups all around it. Feel free to roll into any of the collectibles during the game you don't have to be on your board to collect them and I believe even if your board rolls towards it it'll count as collecting it. So next up we're gonna go to the leg of the bed here one of the clothing unlockables will be behind, behind it here as you can see there's also a hole from the kitchen area to get underneath the bed which you can then see the golden clothing item. I believe it's a sock. Next we're gonna go and unlock the skateboards here. As you can see, it's in, in between the triangle of pizza boxes. I found going at it from a distance and jumping into it to be the best way to go about it because the angles are just kind of weird in there. Now for another piece of the clothing here behind the presumably stale bread in the corner of the counter in the kitchen here. That one's kind of sneaky. And then last up we'll get the wheels. This is the top corner of the room here with all the magazines. You can press up on the d-pad until you spawn there. And then right up here on top of this little highest part of the level will be the wheels. So that's it for Humble Bed Giddings. Pretty basic. That's what we'll be looking out for for the other ones. So I feel if you just watch this video, watch all the collectibles, you'll have no problem whizzing through each level. So let's move on to level two here. Scared of Heists. 
All right, so to start off again, we're gonna be going for the tapes first. So there's three sections of this level. There's the one where you start off here with all the wires. There's one over here with a few air ducts, the vent section of the roof, and then there's an elevated section with a glowing rooftop. So for this one, you're gonna to wanna to go to the vent roof. You'll see the little, I guess they're the electric wires, whatever it is, ride along and jump and hit the tape. The next one will be similar, but this one will be on the elevated section of the level. Ride up the lip, grind the wire, collect the tape. Now we're gonna go for the other collectibles. So you'll find one piece of clothing up here. That's from the start of the level, just grind up that wire, pretty easy to grab that one. This next one will be floating in the middle here. So if you press RB to transfer, don't hold a trick and you'll actually just fly like that, float on your skateboard. So try and go to the middle of the wall there and activate RB and there you go, you should fly into that eventually. Next up on the vent roof here, we got this little smokestack. Go up and then once you're up high, then tap RB. If you tap it too early, you'll fly underneath. So make sure to tap it a little bit later to grab that. And then the wheels are up here on a pipe, similar to the tapes. You want to jump up and grind that wire. I grind it too early. But you could also just go from the vent bridge here and just jump straight into it with a little double jump. And that's all the collectibles for Scared of Heist. That was quick and easy. So next up, I believe will be more of the one that people will be coming here for. Big business, because we've got a few sneaky tapes. So let's get at this one. I'll start off by mentioning there are a few story missions. The yellow blips, when you press the start button, you'll see different missions. Yellow, or the story ones. You'll have to complete a few of those to unlock certain areas for tapes. So I will get into that after we grab this first tape here. So you'll see I gotta go up this little magazine lip and then slowly and then double tap RB to transfer into that section to grab that tape. So as I mentioned, you gotta complete the missions up to open beta and complete open beta to unlock the office area. And now from the top of the office area, I like to grind down from the top section to jump onto the roof like so. The roof of the desk. Now in one of these plants, you can barely see it, is a tape to collect in there. Super sneaky, probably the sneakiest one in the whole game. So you eventually get a right angle and jump in there to grab the tape. Now there's also a skateboard collectible in this room as well, so we might as well grab it while we're here. It's on the chair. So you could do the same method as the tape to get on the top of the desk and then jump from there, or alternatively you could do that and just jump from the bottom of the desk onto the chair to grab that collectible. So now for the last tape, you gotta complete this mission, Heist Music, which will actually bring you through the vents and into the next level. Only until then, you can collect the last tape. So now we're gonna press start and go back to big business. And now from the roof of the office, you're gonna wanna get onto the vents here. I just get some speed and double jump. Now this one's a little more tricky. I like to use the wall ride in this scenario. So if you just kind of ride up to the wall and then tap back on the left stick, it'll kind of start automatically riding up. And then once you get near to the top, I try and press Y and it seems to kind of push you over to the top instead of falling back down. And then from then you just follow the vents. The little connector pieces don't actually affect you, so you can just ride right through them. And then you'll find this tape right at the end here. So anyone playing through the game and just trying to look for the collectibles themselves are most likely going to miss those last two tapes. And now for the rest of the collectibles in the level that we haven't grabbed yet. There's a piece of clothing here on the far wall. You could either use the ramp to jump into it or just wall ride into it like so. After that, we're going to go to this desk over here, the one that you start on, and then we're going to go to the other side. And underneath the cubicle, from where you start the level, you'll see right here in the ramp section, a glowing piece of clothing to grab. And now on top of the same cubicle, you could just go up that stack of books if you wanted. 
by all these monitors and ramps. You're gonna have to do a lot of missions around here, so you'll probably grab this one naturally. But you just basically transfer from ramp to ramp to grab that one. And that's it for big business. Now we're gonna move on to Forgotten Gibson, level four. Now this level also has a mission lock collectible, which I'll quickly point out where it is here. So on the left side from where you spawn, you'll see a ramp in the corner there. Eventually there'll be a few spider webs and a little spider named Buddy, and you'll have to complete his missions, but I'll show you that at the end. So for now you can collect every other collectible until then. So the first tape here, if you spawn near the top of the level, you could jump into the clock. Pretty easy to grab that one. Now from that same location, you see the wires over here. If you just grind these wires all the way down, you'll go right into that tape there. It's pretty sneaky, hard to see, but just follow that cord all the way down and you'll be able to grab that one. Now onto the rest of the collectibles. You probably have seen this piece of clothing here while playing. You can either transfer from the ramp or just wall ride like so to grab that one. Now pretty close to that in the same level in the corner you'll see the wheels collectible there so transfer from the lip or ride into it like this. However you want to grab that one maybe even driving from level two would be easy to grab that one. Now for the collectible skateboard, as we spawn in the corner of the level here, you're going to want to ride around this open book, and that one's pretty sneakily hidden in there. But as long as you go take at it from that angle, you should have no problem grabbing that one. Now for the last collectible, like I mentioned, after you do enough missions, this spider will pop up for another mission for you. called web delivery so basically you put them on your head and ride around show them certain spots and now you see the collectible shows up once you finish the mission I just skipped through the mission there and that's it for the collectibles in this level on to the final level all right on to bringing it home we got three tapes two clothes one deck one wheels final level of the game so to start off we're gonna be going for the tapes again there's a tape on top of the microwave here, so we're going to get some speed by going up this slip on the kitchen counter. And then jump sideways off of that ramp there, and that's how I got onto the microwave, grab that tape. Next tape is pretty easy, vis easily visible, but hard to get to. So you can try and jump from the stove here to get into that triangle section where the tape sits on top of that orange lidded box. But I found with wall ride, this is a better way to go. Go to like the side of the fridge here and then halfway up jump and it kind of shoots you towards the ramp there. And then you can press jump again to throw yourself in. As you saw, I got my head knocked off but still rolled into it. It's possible to smoothly just jump straight in there too. And then the last tape, you'll get to this section of the level where you gotta go up some magazines nearly to the roof of the room and then you'll see the spiral and there's a tape sitting right at the top of the spiral. Next we're gonna go for the other collectibles so you'll see here underneath the bed you'll find some clothing pretty high up so I suggest going at a distance get some speed and jump pretty early and then fly into it. If you jump too late you'll be too low. After that, we're gonna go into the kitchen here and there's a collectible skateboard inside the teacup. That's right there by the faucet and the sink. You can try and just ramp in from the sink itself or just jump straight into it like that. Next, we're gonna go into the bathroom. You get one of the up on the D-pad spawns is this sink. So you could just hit the D-pad until you get onto the sink or alternatively, you could ride that rainbow rope to get up there and it's beside the cold handle of the faucet. And then last up, we're gonna get the wheels in the back of the room here with the wall and the blanket of the bed. It's wedged right in between the two. And that should be it for all the collectibles. So if you completed all the missions, got all the collectibles, then you'll get the final achievement at the end there. So make sure to complete all missions. Have You press start menu and change level to look at which ones you have and do not. And then by the end of the credits, it should pop once you get to the menu. And as I mentioned before, if you get stuck on any missions, I do have a video on that. 
So feel free to go and watch that to help you on any missions or stuff. And there you go, as you see, once you get to the menu, the achievement will pop and you should have a thousand G in Skatebird. So I hope you enjoyed the game, hope you enjoyed my videos, and helped you get those achievements. Thanks for watching everybody, look forward to seeing you in my other videos, peace.